I just want to show you what Donald Trump has been saying and posting, and I want to compare it to what President Biden has been saying and posting so you can compare and contrast for yourself, although I don't even think there's really any comparison at all. Here's what Donald Trump is emailing to his supporters when he begs them for money. He writes, would you still love me if I'm arrested? Want to meet up after my debate? Ben, I'd love to spend some time with you after I run circles around Sleepy Joe. Would you still love me if I'm arrested? Because these could be my final days as a free man before Crooked Joe's henchmen haul me away. We only have a few days left to respond with a large force to those disgusting radical tyrants. I will never surrender. That's the leader of one of the major American political parties. That's the leader of the Republican Party. Would you still love me if I'm arrested? And then he writes in another email, Ben, you're on the guest list. Want to meet up after my debate? I'd love to spend some time with you. There's another one sent right after. And then it goes, can I give you a call? This is a message from Donald Trump. Can I give you a call? The first presidential debate is only seven days away. And I need to I need you to answer this question. Do you endorse me? That's what Donald Trump said. On the other hand, you've got President Biden saying, no one who has been abused should have to worry about their abuser getting a gun. As a result of today's Supreme Court ruling, survivors of domestic violence and their families will still be able to count on critical protections just as they have for the past three decades. That was in response to a MAGA Republican effort to try to allow uh, individuals who are subject to restraining orders to have free access to any guns that they want. President Biden says, Donald Trump is worried about Americans, is worried Americans will hold him accountable for the cruelty and chaos he created by overturning Roe v. Wade. I have some bad news for Donald. We will. President Biden writes, when Trump was president, he separated families and children at the border, and now he's proposing to rip spouses and children from their families and homes and place them in detention camps. We must stop him in November. And then President Biden also says, when we were ready to move forward with a bipartisan immigration agreement, Republicans walked away from the deal for the most pathetic and petty reasons. Donald Trump told them to. So much for Republicans caring about the border. Order. That's what President Biden's posting. Then you have Donald Trump who goes, I'm leading in virtually every poll, MAGA 2024. You're actually losing in many of the polls now and mostly all of the aggregates of polls have you losing. The Fox poll has Donald Trump down by two with an 11 point swing of independence in favor of President Biden, who leads in the Fox poll amongst independents by plus nine. Although, frankly, I think the number is going to be significantly higher than that because fundamentally, I believe Americans are decent people. I believe Americans are compassionate people. I believe Americans want to support NATO. I believe Americans want to support our allies. I believe Americans believe in freedom. I believe that Americans support women's reproductive rights. I believe that Americans support uh, a bottom up, middle out versus giving all of these benefits to DECA billionaires and giving them favoritism when they're already have billions of dollars. That's where I think most Americans are going to be. And I just think the more information they receive, the more they will learn about the difference between Trump and Biden, in my view. Donald Trump goes, I love the Ten Commandments in public schools, private schools, and many other places for that matter. Read it. How can we as a nation go wrong? This may be, in fact, the first major step in the revival of religion, which is desperately needed in our country. Bring back TTC MAGA 2024. Well, Donald Trump there is referring to the fact that the new Louisiana governor uh, just signed a law requiring the Ten Commandments to be put up in uh, public school. Now, look, 
regardless of what you think about the Ten Commandments or not, and the values that are put there, there is a separation of church and state in our country. In President Biden, you have someone who's actually deeply religious, who attends church on a weekly basis, but does not force that down the American people's, in, in the American people's house. President Biden keeps his religion private. He's obviously a very religious person and he follows the principles of his religion, but whether you follow a religion or don't follow a religion, it should be most importantly about being a good, kind, compassionate, and truthful person and you finding that source of truth and compassion no matter where it is. On the other hand, you have somebody like Donald Trump who is out there and quite literally <laughs> violates every one of the Ten Commandments, uh, engages in every one of the of these sins, is not a religious person, cannot name a single Bible passage when he was asked about it, um, curses in church, holds events in churches, and they now just start cursing in the churches themselves. Just so you can see it, this was Donald Trump a week back or so in a church in Arizona um, uh, encouraging cursing at the church and people were saying BS, the, but the actual word over and over again. Here, play this clip. So they come up with something that's fake, just like everything else they do. It's all fake. The impeachments are fake. The court cases are a disgrace to our country. Everything is fake. So they come up with this order. I, I won't say it because I don't like using the word bullshit in front of these beautiful children. So I won't say it. I will not say it. But this thing allows millions of people. <laughs> hey, Ben Micellis here. Sorry to interrupt that video, but I want to spend a brief moment talking about our climate. I think it's important. Let me just show you what President Biden has to say about the climate. Play this clip. Look, uh, what we're acting now, we have been acting. We've come to the point where it's foolish for anyone to deny the impacts of climate change anymore. Let me show you what Donald Trump has to say about the climate. Play the clip. So I got rid of the Paris Accord. I did a lot of things having to do with not only people, but tremendous amounts of money because the Paris Accord was so unfair. Let me show you what voters are saying about the climate. Play the clip. Hi, Joe Biden. Oh, just because, honestly, I think he's doing a better job than people give him credit for. And um, he's got a lot done on in infrastructure. I believe climate change is real. He's actually done something on it, which almost nobody else has. Judge for yourself, folks, climate change is real. It's important that we address it. It's important that we talk about it. We're going to continue to talk about it here on the Midas Touch Network. Now, let's get back to the previous video you were watching. And then also, just so you can see, we, we did a video at the Midas Touch Network where we we went through the fact that Donald Trump doesn't follow any commandments. We made this a few years back, but it's relevant now with Donald Trump saying that. Here, play this clip. Most importantly, I brought my Bible. Of the president setting up this photo op for himself. Tear gas was used to remove peaceful protesters. So the president could stage a photo He's op. holding up a Bible. I moved in her like a <laughs> and she was married. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Because you're a rich guy, and if you don't support me, you're going to be so goddamn poor, you're not going to believe me. Why do I have to, you know, repent? Why do I have to ask for forgiveness if you're not making mistakes? A federal judge is ordering President Trump to pay $2 million to a series of nonprofit organizations. The president misused his own charitable foundation. Trump University was fraudulent. That settlement, $25 million. Is adultery no longer a big deal in Indiana and in America? I, for one, believe that the Seventh Commandment, contained in the Ten Commandments, is still a big deal. Three women now pursuing legal action, one over a case of alleged harassment, and two others over alleged affairs. I don't like to have to ask for forgiveness, and I am good. I don't do a lot of things that are bad. I... His father was with Lee Harvey Oswald prior to Oswald's being, you know, shot. Take a moment to digest that. The sitting president is yeah. insinuating a journalist is responsible for murder. 
A thousand cases a day. Show me the death chart. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Oh, the death but chart but is but much more important. They are dying. That's true. And you ha it is what it is. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. No religion, no anything. Hurt the Bible, hurt God. He's against God. Then you have Donald Trump going around and giving speeches where he mocks uh, stutterers and he mocks President Biden for stuttering like this. Play the clip. I'm going to bring the country to, 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 uh, together. I'm going to bring it together. Although Donald Trump did go on a on Sean Spicer's uh, show yesterday. And what he said is that he compared those speeches that I just showed you where he curses in churches and where he mocks people who stutter. He also has fictitious conversations with Hannibal Lecter in his mind, and he claims that he'd rather be electrocuted than eaten by sharks. Uh, Donald Trump compares that to the Mona Lisa. He says his speeches, people come to his speeches the same way they appreciate the Mona Lisa. Here, play this clip. Somebody explained it when there is a certain something that's great or that they want to hear. You know, you have people that follow the rock bands and they listen to the same songs over and over and over and they like them more five years later than they did before. You have people that go to the Mona Lisa, they want it, they love the Mona Lisa and they'll see it hundreds and hundreds of times and it gets better every time. A Broadway play where they'll see it 20 times. I mean, it's sort of an interesting thing. And it's basically the same 20 subjects that you're talking about. And then Donald Trump in that same interview uh, lies and claims that he got more votes than President Biden. Donald Trump got destroyed in the last election. He lost by 7 million votes in the popular vote. And in terms of the Electoral College, also lost big. But here he is, just a constant loser, whining about losing over and over again. Here, play this clip. I, mean, I had 63 million. I was told that if I get 63 million, we win easily. That there's no way. John McLaughlin told me, a lot of people told me that. But when they rig it or cheat, you know, there's not a lot you're gonna do about that other than you have to stop it. Now we have to stop it second time. And then finally, here's what President Biden has to say. Traveling the country and meeting millions of Americans, I have become somewhat of a selfie expert. Here's to four more years of selfies. And then President Biden writes, today we mark a major milestone. We have protected 1 million pensions from devastating cuts thanks to my American Rescue Plan. That's what it means to build the economy from the middle out and the bottom up and to protect the dignity of work. And let me just say it this way, that's what it means to be a president. That's what it means to be in office. Holding the highest position in our country or just any high position is about doing work and doing things and not like Trump whining about it all the day, me, 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 and wow, wow, it's just enough of the whining, enough of that behavior. And I think you can see it so clearly when I show you what they're each saying in the same 24 hour period. Well, judge for yourself and tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I can't wait to hear from you and just put in the comments below how you feel. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.